Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about the part two of the muscles of the gluteal region. So before that, we have discussed about the gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus in terms of origin, insertion, action, and nerve supply. So today we will be discussing about the piriformis, gamelus superior, gamelus inferior, as well as quadratus femoris, quadratus femoris, obturator internus, and tensor fascia lata. So stick to the video till the end. And if you are new here, I am Abhishek, and I teach anatomy videos in detail required for the UG university examinations. So subscribe and share it to other people. So beginning with the piriformis. Piriformis is a pear shaped muscle. What you need to remember? Piriformis is a pear shaped muscle. And what about the origin of the piriformis? It arises from the pelvic surface of the middle three pieces of the sacrum by three digitations. What you need to remember is just remember sacrum and it arises from the pelvic surface. Pelvic surface of the sacrum and to three digitations it arises from the three digitations from the pelvic surface of the sacrum and what about its insertion it is inserted into the tip of the greater trochanter tip of the greater trochanter of the femur greater trochanter of the femur and what about the action of the piriformis it is the lateral rotator of the hip joint lateral rotator of the hip joint and finally, the nerve supply of the piriformis supplied by the ventral rami of the S1 and S2. Ventral rami of S1 and S2. That's what the nerve supply of the piriformis is. So now moving on to the gamella superior. Gamella superior, the origin comes from the posterior surface of the ischial spine. Posterior surface of the ischial spine. That's where the origin of the gamella superior comes from and where is it inserted it is inserted same as that as it is inserted into the medial surface of the greater trochanter as well as the along with the tendon of the obturator internus inserted into the greater trochanter along with the tendon of the obturator internus along with tendon of the obturator internus it is inserted into the greater trochanter of the femur and finally what about the action of the gamella superior Gamella superior is the lateral rotator of the hip joint. Same as the piriformis, it helps in the lateral rotator of the hip joint. Hip joint lateral rotation. That's about the action of the gamella superior. And finally, the nerve supply. Nerve supply is by the nerve to obturator internus. Nerve supply is by the nerve to obturator internus, which arises from the L5, S1 and S2 spinal segments of the sacral plexus that's about the nerve supply so now moving on to the gemellus inferior origin of the gemellus inferior comes from the ischial tuberosity as well as the lower part of the lesser sciatic notch arises from the ischial tuberosity as well as the sciatic notch lower sciatic notch not the upper lower sciatic no, that's what the insertion of the gemellus inferior and where is it inserted? It is inserted same as that of the gemellus superior that is the greater trochanter plus the along with the tendon of the obturator internus. Greater trochanter along with the tendon of the obturator internus same as that of the gemellus superior it is also inserted there. And what about the action? Same as the gemellus superior lateral rotator of the hip joint. Lateral rotator of the hip joint and finally what about its nerve supply it is supplied by the nerve to quadratus femoris not nerve to obturator internus nerve to quadratus femoris nerve to quadratus femoris it arises from the l4 l5 and the s1 spinal segment of the sacral plexus that's what about the nerve supply of the gemellus inferior so now we will move on to the another three muscles they are the tensor fascia lata obturator internus as well as the quadratus femoris so stick to the video till the end. So beginning with the remaining three muscles of the gluteal region that is the obturatory internus, quadratus femoris as well as the tensor fascia lata. So I'll begin with the obturatory internus in terms of origin, insertion, action and nerve supply. So obturatory internus arises from the pelvic surface of the obturator membrane. Arises from the pelvic surface of the obturator membrane pelvic surface of the obturator membrane that's where the origin of the obturator internus takes place where is it inserted it is inserted into the medial surface of the greater trochanter what you need to remember is the greater trochanter of the femur inserted there and what about the action of the obturator internus it is the it is again the lateral rotator of the hip joint lateral rotator of the hip joint 
and what about the nerve supply it is supplied by the nerve to obturator internus nerve to obturator internus which arises from the l5 as well as the s1 spinal segments of the sacral plexus so that's about the obturator internus now moving on to the quadratus femoris quadratus femoris origin takes place from the lateral border of the ischial tuberosity what you need to remember is about the ischial tuberosity that's it arises from the ischial tuberosity where is it inserted it is inserted into the quadrate tubercle of the intertrochanteric crest inserted into the intertrochanteric crest where is the intertrochanteric crest it is between the two trochanters of the femur that's what you remember finally the action of the quadratus femoris is again the lateral rotator of the hip joint lateral rotator of the hip joint and uh, what about the nerve supply of the quadratus femoris it is by the nerve to quadratus femoris nerve to quadratus femoris nerve to quadratus femoris arises from the l5 as well as the s1 spinal segments of the sacral plexus so now moving on to the tensor facial lata tensor facial lata origin takes place from the outer lip of the anterior part of the iliac crest we have the iliac crest right from the iliac crest outer lip helps in the origin of the tensor facial lata and where is it inserted it is inserted into the iliotibial tract inserted into the iliotibial tract and what about the action it supports the femur on tibia as well as during the standing position so it actually supports the femur supports the femur while standing and what about the nerve supply nerve supply is by the superior gluteal nerve superior gluteal nerve that is about the nerve supply of the tensor facial lata so this is about the part 2 video of the muscles of the gluteal region so thank you guys thank you for watching i hope you have learned so much so that you will share it to your other friends and who want to learn more about the anatomy and if you are new here make sure to subscribe thank you guys i'll see you in the next video bye